Good morning. I'm Denise Gonick. I'm president of operations for MVP Healthcare. And on behalf of all of my colleagues, including our CEO, Dave Oliker, who's here with me today, I'd like to thank all of you, our friends, partners, and neighbors, for being here today to celebrate something very special to our community, the homecoming of Olympic gold medalist, Abby Wamba. So we've been using the term game changer quite a bit at MVP to describe someone who's really making a difference. Abby is the epitome of a game changer, both on and off the field. Between winning the title of U.S. Female Soccer Athlete of the Year five times, being an Olympic champion, and winning countless other awards and accolades as one of the most decorated athletes in U.S. soccer history, Abby still finds the time to work with kids on making healthy choices. For the past nine years, Abby has worked with MVP's Generation Go, which is focused on helping kids stay active and develop healthy habits. Her efforts dedicated to childhood wellness do not go unnoticed. It's a pretty big deal to be ranked among the nation's top athletes on the Bloomberg Power 100. But to care about your roots and your community, we think that's an even bigger deal. To show our appreciation for all that Abby does, for her hometown pride, her continued MVP efforts, and to celebrate her recent big win, we're delighted to support the renaming of the walkway to this stadium, Wambach Way. But Abby is one of the many game changers helping to create healthier communities. At MVP, we'd like to recognize some other game changers, and so soon we'll be launching our new promotion, the Ultimate Game Changer Contest. We're going out to look for and reward other game changers in our community, kids who are doing fantastic things, teachers who've made a difference, coaches, community leaders, anyone who truly deserves a pat on the back. But in addition to some well-deserved recognition, we'll be rewarding the winner with a great prize, including the opportunity to meet Abby at a special event for contest finalists. It's our way of spreading the inspiration, the passion, and dedication to good health that Abby instills in each of us every day. Abby, we can't thank you enough for all that you do. We are very proud of you and your teammates. Congratulations and welcome home. And now I'd like to introduce the City of Rochester Mayor, Thomas S. Richards. Thank you. So, this is one of those days when it's a nice, nice day to be mayor. You get to do some good things. And um, we are going to call this Wambach Way, the, the path that leads in here. And of course, that's, that's a way to recognize a world-class athlete who began in this city um, and began as a monarch at, uh, you know, at school, at high school. Are there any monarchs in the crowd here? Yeah, all right. Give me a shout here. All right. But I think it's appropriate particularly because as you come up that walkway, uh, you can remember what Abby has accomplished. And that should be an inspiration for people in general young girls particularly, but, but young people in general, to be, you know, inspired by that walkway and that walk that she's taken from a high school athlete to a world-class athlete, someone who's played on the world stage. And so I'm joined here by Councilwoman Carla Colombo and Senator Joe Robach, who's with us today. But all of us salute Abby, we salute what she's accomplished, and we salute what this means for young people around our community. So it's a privilege for me as the mayor of the city of Rochester, uh, whose stadium you're in, to proclaim that this will be Wambach Way. Hi there. Um, well, first of all, I want to thank the mayor for coming and giving me this 
opportunity to have a road or a way named after me. Um, I also would like to thank MVP for setting this up and knowing that I've worked with them for so long and that they wanted to go above and beyond and, and, and sponsor this event has really uh, touched me in, a, in a, a special way. So thank you, MVP. Um, I want to thank my family who there's probably 50 of you in the crowd, <laughs> maybe even 100, I don't know. So my mom and dad are here. Everybody wave to my family, they're all over there. Hi, family. Um, but really what this means to me is beyond anything I could actually explain. Um, I'm so honored and touched to not only represent my country, but to represent this city. And the, yeah. And the fact that we were able to bring home gold is very special. And I want you all, each and every one of you, to know that this gold medal isn't just mine. It's not just the players on our team, but it's all of yours. Because you guys all have supported me through every single thing, the ups and the downs, the broken leg. Uh, and it really, really does mean so much to me that you're here to help me. And hopefully you'll come, come out on Saturday and watch us play. Who's coming? Who's coming? It's such an honor to, to represent this city, and hopefully I can continue to do it for many years to come. Bring home more championships. Maybe we'll get a road somewhere in the city. <laughs> we're, we're working on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, I plugged myself. That's good. Um, but really, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. It really is special to me. And uh, hopefully you'll come out on Saturday. We'll give you something to cheer about then. Thank you so much. ceremonial things. We're going to cut a ribbon here, so we'll get organized to do it. This is uh, one of the few things associated with this that I have some more experience than Abby does that. Cut ribbon. That's about where I come in here. Okay, so we all get ready. I'm going to count down, okay? Three, two, one, cut, and then you just cut right through the ribbon, okay? Get yourself ready. There's an amateur in every crowd.